Uh, good morning to you all. My name is Katie. I'm from Fruits of Thought, an NGO based in Uganda. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we are doing in Uganda to build a technology mapping community. Um, we are doing this through three major projects. And these are basically mapping projects. And um, we do that by training people and developing mapping tools that are easier to use for the ordinary person. Uh, the Mapping Day Uganda project is uh, a project that teaches people how to make base maps using OpenStreetMap. So we go out and teach people how to use the software and get this data onto the OpenStreetMap. And in the past, we've trained over 400 people. Uh, we've gone out to five universities across the country, and we've told people how to use JOSM as a software and uh, how to get all this data onto OpenStreetMap. Presently, we are continuing with the training. And uh, the beautiful thing about this is that we've actually got people that are able to organize their own training sessions and train other people. For the future, we have the main aim of having a beautiful map of Uganda that is easy to use. And uh, we cannot do that without community. So we get the community involved. We use very basic tools to do this. What you see there are walking papers, originally filled papers. So we go out, get information from the field, and then get this information onto, onto the mapping platform in groups. It's a very practical session, so we get people to have a feel of how this is all done. Uh, we've gone on to build technology tools that are easy to use. These are basically two tools, EasyMapper and GeoBucket. And you can use this for mapping with OpenStreetMap. EasyMapper is an application that maps one feature at a time. So if you, if you need to do mass mapping of, say, health centers, if it's a crisis setting, all you need to do is customize this application and do mass mapping of, of the health centers that you want to do. And you can go on to do this in detail. For example, you can maybe, if it's a crisis setting, you, you can find out, you can collect data on what material this health center is made of. And this information, once you've saved it, can be uploaded to OpenStreetMap. You don't need to do a lot of editing. It's an on-the-fly on upload to OpenStreetMap. Now, at the end of the day, you get standard OpenStreetMap rendering. And why is this possible? This is because we use JOSM presets. So once this data is uploaded to OpenStreetMap, you're able to see all this information the way OpenStreetMap renders it. And the other simple tool that we've come up with is GeoBucket. GeoBucket, we had the main aim of uh, making mapping of roads and paths easier. It's a very simple tool to use. And uh, you can upload all this data on the fly onto a server. All you need is a start, a stop, and upload button. Um, if, say, you're in a very rural place and you, do not, you cannot access an internet connection and yet you want to use your traces later on, or if it's a crisis setting, you can save these traces and then later retrieve them from a server and then trace using the standard ID editor in OpenStreetMap. So this works beautifully in a crisis setting and you probably want to map access routes Volunteers can, can help with the tracing of the roads remotely. And we are doing this basically, one, because we need a map of Uganda. The last usable map of Uganda we had was uh, about 40 years ago. And we, we also want to leverage what professionals and uh, students can bring on board. And uh, so we'll continue building the community and getting the tools that make it easier. Thank you.